On now to the running relay. Now, it's definitely a test of endurance, particularly for the fourth member of the team, because the fourth member has to run a full quarter mile. That's one time around the track. Many times, they have to run it wide open at sprint speeds because, well, they're way behind. Well, the points for this event go this way. 100 for winning, 75 for second, and 50 for third. And with only this event and the Apache Relay to go, let me tell you, the points are becoming very, very important. And in lane number three from Santa Barbara, running first, the ladies' 50-yard dash winner, Robin Wright. Running second, Marcy Walker. Running third, John Allen Nelson. And running the anchor position, Todd McKee. On that 440. I think he'll be fresh. And there they are underway. Left to right, Robin Wright, Gail Strickland, and Steve Shaw. And Steve Shaw starting to pull away now. But remember, he, of course, is the only man running against two women here. So positioning is going to be very important in this race. And Steve Shaw will pass off to Tanya Crow. Oh, but she forgot to take the baton with her. That will cost the Knox Landing team. Meanwhile, Santa Barbara's Marcy Walker, the insiders Miss Universe, Sean Weatherly, well underway in their second lane. And now Sean Weatherly making a nice move for the lead. It's going to be a dead heat coming into the 220 lane. Carlos Parkin now running his leg for Insiders Miss Universe, and he is being chased right now by John Allen Nelson. This should be a very good leg. It's going to be very close. Two good competitive runners. They come to the final turn now. It's going to see who's got something left in the tank. Carlos Parkin, and neither man is backing off. It's Parkin and Nelson going to be very close. All right, the all-important 440 leg. It is going to come down to sheer guts on this one. Tony Jackson out in front, and Todd McGee running right behind him. I don't know, Stoney looks like he's in very good shape. But Todd McKee, remember, very fresh. And finally, it'll be Pat Peterson getting underway for Knott's Landing, but they have no chance. The race is right here. And here comes Todd McKee coming up on Stoney Jackson. Jackson laboring, McKee looking very strong, Bruce. I don't know, he's going off awfully hard in this first 220. I don't know if he's gonna have enough left to be able to hold him up. There is a dead heat going down the back stretch. As they go to that final turn, now Todd should try to make his move. There it is, to the inside of the track. And so he doesn't have to run in that outside lane, but Todd McKee with a great leg. He's starting to tire quite a bit, but also Stoney Jackson is starting to tire. Todd McKee out on the lead for Santa Barbara. It looks like Stoney has given up a great leg for Santa Barbara. And Todd McKee just digging down a little bit deeper than Stoney Jackson. He crosses the finish line in first place, falls down. But I assure you, that's a very happy spill that he just took. And finally, way back up the track, Santa Barbara and the Insiders Miss Universe will move on to the next round. And we'll still have the Apache just to see who finishes first and second. Take another look at that race. Here's where it was won for Todd McKee. He came right up on Stoney Jackson's shoulder, and it just didn't look like Jackson had anything left. He made him run right here, and when Jackson was asked to run, he the girls gave him, you know, a nice little lead right there, and then the 200 went down, or 220 went down a little bit, but Todd, great performance. You gotta be dying. It's up to you, man. Shake your head on that one anyway. Oh, okay, I, we, we, we've been saving him. We've been saving this guy. Don't bring him on you at the last minute. I don't know. This might just be it for me today. <laughs> Very nice. It was a it was a real good competitive race. A lot of fun. Two guys pulled out the victory. More points. This guy, man. This guy. Good job, Todd.